Tonight, new fallout after a stunning defeat. Voters in one of the most progressive cities in America removing their progressive district attorney from his job. People are right to be frustrated. There's so much room for improvement. Chase Boudin was elected touting alternatives to prison and recalled in a landslide, facing criticism for being soft on crime. With San Francisco struggling with rising homelessness, hate crimes, and violence, his defeat now a warning to other progressive prosecutors. Like DA George Gascon in LA, facing a possible recall election of his own. And in New York, DA Alvin Bragg openly criticized by fellow Democrat Mayor Eric Adams. No one takes criminal justice seriously anymore. These bad guys no longer take them seriously. They believe our criminal justice system is a laughing stock. Tonight, President Biden urging mayors and police chiefs to act. It's time the states and the localities spend the money they have to deal with crime. Meanwhile, Boudin supporters are concerned the priorities of progressive prosecutors are at risk. I'm Professor Laura Bazelon investigates defender, wrongful convictions in San Francisco. We have other cases that are in the pipeline. Our work is on the chopping block, too. I've been robbed on Mission Street. I was jumped on 6th Street. But tonight, San Francisco voters like liberal Democrat and sandwich shop owner Adam Mesnick demanding change. The top cop has failed. Between the enormous amount of money spent on this recall and the enormous national attention it received, it's clear that rising crime rates are going to be a major issue in the midterms. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.